Well, there is a problem, especially among low-income individuals. Uh, the lowest rate of uh, dental utilization among all the states are the 550,000 uh, children in Wisconsin who receive dental benefits through Medicaid, and the utilization rate is lowest in Wisconsin among all the states. One potential solution is to increase the number of people who provide dental services. And in the state of uh, Wisconsin West, we have some, we passed a law allowing dental therapists to provide services, mid-level services, sealants, uh, in some cases fillings, uh, certainly ability to do x-rays. Uh, these are mid-level perf uh, to perform largely preventive and restorative types of procedures. And we have uh, several hundred of these individuals who provide services to underserved areas in urban areas, distressed urban areas, or rural areas. And the rationale, and we're the neighboring state, uh, in 2009, uh, Minnesota passed a law which allowed uh, the dental therapists, DT, statewide, and it's the only state, we're the only state, that are currently uh, allowing these individuals to practice and provide these types of services, especially for Medicaid and school lunch kids. Uh, now, uh, as a result, uh, if you were to apply what we're doing in Minnesota uh, to Wisconsin, uh, it could result in between 11 to 13, or almost $14 million economic loss because you don't have these. These people serve as substitutes for dentists for mid-level care, and the creation of dental therapists uh, similar to one in Minnesota would likely significantly reduce uh, the economic costs and increase access. So uh, research uh, from Minnesota indicates that the creation of these dental therapists in Wisconsin uh, could improve access, utilization, and outcomes while reducing the economic costs associated with, with a dental care monopoly. Dentists have a monopoly. They're the only ones there. They are licensed, and no one else can provide these services other than a dentist. So this would allow other individuals to provide these kinds of services, much like nurse practitioners provide mid-level services, and they do that at a much lower cost than having to go see a fully licensed physician. So uh, these improvements in Wisconsin's oral health care system, by, and, and by the way, the, uh, the governor has, uh, in Wisconsin, uh, has thrown his weight behind providing funding to provide training for dental therapists, in large part because what he's seen in Minnesota, California, Alaska, uh, where dental therapists are able, they, these are people who don't have the years of schooling, four years of undergraduate, four years of dental school, plus uh, specialization. These are individuals who have a bachelor's degree and, have, and do work beyond that, but certainly not to the extent that a dentist is trained. Uh, this, this could provide the quality of, of care, could increase the quality of care to patients, and could increase uh, financial returns also to dental practices. Why to dental practices? If these people are barging in on the monopoly of dentists. Largely because they could provide services which are low value added. So dentists could do root canals. Dentists could do uh, extractions. They could do higher value work and allow the lower value work to be taken care of by these dental therapists, which has certainly uh, been the case in Minnesota, California, and Alaska, which, is, which have allowed these individuals to do uh, this type of work. So this is sort of a policy recommendation. Uh, it's sort of relaxing, it's not doing away with, but it's relaxing these occupational licensing requirements to do two things, give greater access, give consumers greater choice, and hopefully reduce the prices uh, of, of dental services and keep uh, people out of emergency rooms 
which is what they're doing when they have very severe dental problems, and get them going to uh, lower cost types of services. So that might be one policy recommendation for, uh, for Wisconsin uh, that you could learn uh, from uh, Wisconsin West. One thing you'll be happy to learn that dentists now make more money than doctors. Yeah. So, uh, so that, that there's been, uh, that doctors are largely covered under uh, various uh, group providers where, where dentists uh, can charge whatever. They're, they're, not, they're not constrained as much. And, and, and there are much fewer, there are fewer dental schools, and there haven't been many new dental schools opening relative to medical schools, so the supply of dentists has been limited for a long time. And that's why the, at least Minnesota implemented the dental therapist, a big proponent of, of dental therapy, uh, and this is a bipartisan issue, was Al Franken in the state of Minnesota, not because of economic liberty issues, but because of providing uh, access to low-income individuals uh, for dental services.